ONGC, he is responsible for doctoring HR interventions with corporate strategy, study uh, stream of HR initiatives, have emerged under Dr. Barnas' guidance. Some of them are aligning HR as an effective strategic business partner by focusing on achieving solutions to business needs, leading the implementation of ONGC's major instruction, corporate rejuvenation campaign, establishing assessment development centers for senior level managers. I, think, I don't think many companies are doing that in our country. Uh, designing customized management development programs through high profile B schools with senior middle level managers with global business acumen and competency, introduction of continuous learning program to augment technical and management knowledge of staff and officers through formal education, evaluating many norms for the company and reorienting existing systems and processes, adopting transparent approach for employee relations management and communication introduction of mentoring, coaching and HR audit in the company, introduction of performance linked incentive scheme, a direct in charge business development and joint ventures, ONGC. He has pioneered ONGC's entry into alternate energy sources like CBM, wind energy, etc. and promoted diversification into sectors such as energy, petrochemicals and steel, mega, C2, C3, petroleum, uh, petrochem, SEJ, power sector uh, projects. A director in charge, MRPL, STL, MRPL, remarkable turnaround from a sick company to an award winning most energy efficient, high performance refinery. At the national president IAPM, he has been responsible for rejuvenating the body through professional inputs and reforms. For the first time in a decade, the institute has achieved a financial turnaround with a substantial surplus in the balance sheet. Very, very hard thing is for us also, I think. And I think, same thing. I think with one stroke balance I will do for this institute too. National Council meetings have been purposely uh, conducted at different locations, thereby recharging and activating the various chapters in the process. The long pending issue of property of Delhi chapter has also been sorted out and during this time the intellectual fabric of NIBM has been strengthened and value adding seminars, conferences for key issues have been organized in larger numbers for the benefit of members. The history of the art website www.nipm in has also been launched, uh, which is regular, regularly updated to apprise members of the latest activities. Significant progress in collaboration with IMA, ISTD, and NSTD has been achieved in the recent past. Overall, the NIPM has been branded uh, uh, as uh, an institute of great elements in the field of uh, HR and personnel. Blessed with a human and consumer personality, Dr. Banyan, with illustrious career, spelling over three decades, inspires vibrancy, dynamism, and result orientation, the recognition of which he has been conferred several awards and recognitions. Very difficult to mention more than, but some of them are fellowship by World Academy of Productivity Science 2007, Exemplary Leadership Award by Employer Branding Foundation 2008. Dr. Steven Singh Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award for Excellence in HR 2007, Eminent Engineer of the Year Award by the Institution of Engineer 2006, Terry, uh, which uh, won the Nobel Prize uh, last year, uh, their award, Corporate Award for Corporate Social Responsibility 2006, Golden Peacock Award for Innovation in Training 2006, Golden Peacock Award for Corporate Social Responsibility 2004, 5, Golden Peacock Training Award 2006, MIT Best Achar Head Award for the years 2005 to 2006. His organizing ability and teamwork are exemplified by the association with and successfully also presentation of the Indian Development Organization Conference 2004, inaugurated uh, by Dr. Kalam, uh, Petro Tech 2005, New Delhi, the International Oil and Gas Event of the Indian Government, attended by over 4,000 delegates from India and abroad and invited by Honorable Prime Minister of India, Asian NIPM Conference, Chennai 2005, National Conference for NIPM at Gilendam 2007 and Baroda 2008. He is a keen sportsman who plays cricket, badminton and golf with the uh, fantasy. His acumen in sporting to give, uh, who are born, want to bring dollars for the country. So I welcome you and uh, uh, we look forward to your continuous guidance as the member of the board of the institute. Uh, we have been trying to now uh, come up with the expectations of our uh, stakeholders. IP has been registered as number 8 in intellectual capital in India. We are above few IMs, above almost all IPs actually in Mumbai. We are just lagging by 1.5 marks over there. And uh, the contribution of faculty and students has been going to very, very high. 
and our students uh, have had several of us. So I think, I'll say that this is the day uh, when all my friends uh, will have a great time in uh, hearing uh, Balian sir, also for the institute who will go, I am sure, sir, under your leadership from one level to another level. Uh, the government of Russia has a protocol of government of India and under, under that protocol, 25 uh, social scientists, experts in energy sector, they will be visiting IP and we will have 25 from different parts of India and there will be an energy conference at IP sometime in the month of March. Uh, we are uh, working on that. <coughs> we are also going to have a one-year program uh, which will be set up by United Nations and the local common market at IP. As I said, told you, we have two ministers visiting IP only last month. We are in advanced stage, stages of uh, uh, doing that. We are trying to make IP as a research hub on public sector in India. And all my colleagues uh, have uh, done very good work in that area. In the field of research, IP has been decorated with I am Ahmedabad and I am Bangalore. We are number one in the country. Such training consultancy will get, get a very, very great impetus. And let me also tell you, I think on this occasion, our President Emeritus, Dr. Bhan Prashad, he called me this morning and was so glad to know that Balan Sahar has been able to spare some time before going to ISB uh, to come to IPE. Uh, and there has been a great relationship with ONGC and IPE. Uh, Dr. Bhan Prashad, who is the Emeritus President of IPE, was also uh, the uh, CMD of ONGC. Uh, in the initial years. And on that note, sir, once again welcome and all of us thank you so much uh, for uh, deciding and thinking to come to IP despite fog and number of other and uh, all the youngsters present here. Uh, from my side, I have a very warm a greeting from ONGC to all of you, the afternoon to all of you. Uh, it's always a pleasure and privilege to be here in IPE and uh, with uh, Professor Bishra there, uh, this organization, this institute is uh, uh, going from strength to strength. Uh, I see a vibrancy here and a desire for change, desire for performance and I think that's what keeps the uh, institute, uh, and gives the institute and organization that competitive edge for IP and to Professor Mishra and your team for achieving that high level uh, in terms of your ratings and rankings and I think it's uh, it's wonderful. I'd like to really compliment you and this calls for an applause from all of us. Uh, I must thank Professor Mishra for all fine words spoken to me. Sometimes I get, uh, you know, uh, good words spoken for the work done by my team members and not by me actually. And I like to only say that uh, whatever we have been able to do, it's uh, by all the Oindicians that uh, they have put in the best efforts. And uh, I am of a firm belief that uh, public sectors have the capability, have the resources, have the strength, have the competence and the skill to compete in any environment, not only in India, anywhere. And uh, we believe that uh, uh, many of our uh, BSUs in the country uh, are world-class organization by any standards. Uh, and particularly in the present economic uh, uh, turmoil, I like to you know, perhaps re-emphasize on that, that it is the public sector enterprises which have been, which have proved that they are much more stronger in terms of their policy, in terms of their strategy, in terms of their resources utilization, in terms of their strengths. And they've been able to overcome these these turmoil much better than any MNC 